Silver Dealer urges newbie to make terrible decision. Let's start. I was in a new coin shop today, not my usual spot, my usual dealer. And I really just walked in there to see what they had. I hadn't been there before. I was driving by and I saw it. And while I was in there, I'm not going to mention the name of this coin shop, but I listened and overheard an interaction that truly shocked me. Now, I'm placing before you some stunning silver bars, right? And when we see these bars, we're very excited. I, I typically don't pull out my silver bars for my videos, but I, I think that this really captures this conversation. What was happening was this person speaking to the dealer was clearly a newbie. He was a rookie. And he has heard some ideas about people pulling money from their retirement, taking it out of the stock market and putting it into metals. I, I, could, I could see that. I could infer that that was the beginning of the conversation. And he was speaking of a number, $80,000, and asking this dealer if the dealer thought in their professional experience, if the dealer thought it would be smart to put that eighty k, that $80,000, into silver. And the dealer immediately started talking about monster boxes and how you could get several monster boxes and went into how this person could store the monster boxes, uh, then went into bars, how they could, uh, the, another alternative is to put that 80000 into bars. And I could see the dollar signs in the dealer's eyes. This, this is really surprising because I, I've been in this game for decades, decades. I didn't just pull out money from my savings and purchase these bars that I'm showing you. I started out way back when silver was in silver single digits, back when it was $7 an ounce, and I bought it and I held, then I traded out, I bought it and I held, traded out, traded for some gold, traded back for some silver. I've been doing this for a long time. So if I started now, I can't tell you. If I if I just got into this now, the silver game, I would have to really think first if we're talking about pulling from retirement, we're talking about being taxed on withdrawing those funds. So that right there is a big hit. So this person would have to take that hit and then go into a metal, which is really the the lowest performing, right? Over the past 30 years, silver has performed the least. Gold, certainly. If we were having this conversation about, conversation about gold, I would be a little more enthusiastic. I would. Gold has really performed. Look at just the past 20 years. It has truly performed. And I believe it will continue to perform. But putting that much money, and also, if you're going to put that much money into silver, it's going to be a huge, as I mentioned, monster boxes. This is going to be this large amount of metal. But gold, for 80000 you get a couple of tubes, right? I mean, that's, that's going to be a really finite amount in terms of space. And I'm just more confident in gold. So will the, the real question, of course, is, okay, I've been in this game stacking for this long, and I've seen great results because I started so early. So can somebody start now? Yes, I absolutely. I encourage people to start now, but not cashing out $80,000 from your retirement to go all in on a metal that you, you clearly don't know enough about. I mean, you're asking just some random person in a coin shop. So th this is a real question, and I hope that that person really left that shop with some some things to research, not just like picking up the phone and talking to their wife about a great idea of pulling out that $80,000. <laughs>